The discovery that their house is haunted by a ghost named Ernest makes Kevin's family a social media sensation. Thanks to you guys. But when Kevin and Ernest get to the bottom of the mystery of Ernest's past, they become targets of the CIA. A year after the previous homeowners fled in fear, the Presleys are presented with a house for sale. Doubting the remarkably low price, the real estate agent assures them that recent market conditions have led to such affordability. On the first night, Kevin, the youngest family member, explores a strange noise in the attic. Illuminating the space with his mobile phone, he unexpectedly encounters a ghost. Instead of frightening Kevin, the ghost's response is laughter causing it to vanish. Undeterred, Kevin returns to the attic and engages in a conversation with the ghost, only to learn that it is unable to speak and has no memory of its past life. Naming the ghost Ernest, after the name embroidered on its bowling shirt, Kevin forms a connection. Fulton discovers a video recorded by Kevin during their initial encounter with Ernest and eagerly shares it with their father, Frank, revealing the haunting reality of their new home. Frank seizes the opportunity to create a YouTube channel, showcasing the increasing footage of Ernest, which ultimately convinces the public of his existence and transforms the Presleys into internet sensations. In high school, Kevin meets Joy, the neighbor, who reveals his house as the house of death due to its abandoned state. Once the video of Ernest goes viral, they cross paths in the library, and Joy quickly finds that the house's owner, Ernest Scheller, lived there from 65 to 71 and is now residing elsewhere, but he is not the titular ghost. The West Bay cable TV medium, Judy Romano, comes to film Ernest's meeting. It doesn't take long for Ernest to scare Judy and her crew. Frank is furious with Kevin and Ernest, but quickly profits off of the haunting and continues to ignore Kevin's warnings. Kevin and Joy start to uncover the truth about Ernest's past. Make yourself invisible already. Why didn't he do that sooner? Discovering a photo of him with the previous house owner and a little blonde girl at the park who gives Ernest fuzzy flashbacks. Unfortunately, he unintentionally scares the child, causing the public to believe Ernest is malevolent. Horror writer Dr. Leslie visits Frank and Mel, telling them about an old program she ran with the CIA called Wizard Clip, with the goal in mind to capture a ghost. When she tries to convince them that Ernest is dangerous, Frank throws her out, but the viral video of Ernest at the park sets the CIA in motion. They break into the Presley home, but Kevin, Joy, and Ernest have already left for Oklahoma to find the past house owner. The next morning, the Presleys are pressured into making an appeal to apprehend the trio, and a police chase ensues after they are spotted. Arriving at the house in Oklahoma, the man, Ernest Scheller, identifies Ernest as Randy, the brother-in-law of Scheller's wife, Ramona. He claims that Randy became drunk, not able to cope with his wife's death from giving birth, he left his four-year-old daughter with them and disappeared. Ernest makes himself visible, and the CIA swoops in. In the CIA facility, an aggressive agent is wearing a pin, which triggers Ernest's memory. During a visit to the house, Ramona carried June away while Scheller killed him with a blow to the head. Dr. Leslie frees him. Yeah, works on the living, too. Realizing he is not as dangerous as the government's intentions for him. Scheller shows up at the house to kill Kevin, believing he's helping the ghost Ernest get revenge. He reveals that when Randy's wife died, Ramona, who was infertile, plotted to murder Randy and take June for their own. With Scheller finishing the job for her, he chases him to the attic where Ernest and Frank tackle him out of the window. The CIA interrogates Kevin, seeking Ernest's ghost. He doesn't divulge anything, 
but a flashback reveals that Kevin and Frank reunited him with his now 50-plus-year-old daughter June. Happy at last, Ernest is finally at peace and moves on to the afterlife, but not before sharing a heartwarming goodbye with Kevin. The Presleys have a new moving day, but this time only a few miles away, and Kevin and Joy are now a couple. As Kevin leaves the house, a light flickers in the attic. The end. Please subscribe and stay tuned for more movie recaps and thanks for watching.